What's up, everyone? Welcome back for the next race. All right, so yeah, this is actually the last, like, regular circuit that I have left to race until, um... Uh, until I have to go to the dirt tracks, but like I said, I'm going to hold off on doing the dirt tracks until I go through all the cars first. So, I'm, I'm yeah, not probably not going to be doing any of the dirt tracks today, unfortunately. But I do intend to get to those eventually, but I want to do all the cars first on these regular, like, street courses, I guess you'd call them, or like regular asphalt, I guess. Um... So, yeah, because they only let you use certain cars for dirt tracks and whatnot, and I don't want to miss out on, you know, racing certain cars because they're not, you know, done on, or not allowed on dirt tracks. So I want to keep track of what cars I have and haven't raced yet. So it's easier to do that if, for now, I just stay off of the dirt tracks. Um, and then, yeah, just continue to go down the line of cars on these uh, regular tracks, you know, these asphalt tracks. You know that are paved and stuff but that being said once i'm done going through all the cars i will hit up the dirt tracks and snow tracks because those are going to be very fun it'll be interesting to see how terrible i am at uh you know at rally racing in gt5 that's always entertaining because i fucking suck at it um so yeah definitely looking forward to that but it's probably not going to happen for a while yet at least i know it's not going to happen today i'll say that much um, but it will happen at some point in the future I can guarantee that unless I die before I get the chance to do it which is entirely possible you never know some idiot yesterday tried to kill me when I was driving to work I was turning right the light was barely just starting to change and I was turning right and this asshole was trying to turn left and it's like dude the people who are turning right have the right of way you fucking idiot. So this guy tried to nail me in my driver's side. Luckily, he stopped. And then I'm just, like, sitting there because I stopped. And I'm like, should I go? Should I wait for him to go? Like, what are we doing here, you fucking idiot? And then we both tried to go again. And then it's like, okay, what the fuck are we doing here, you fucking idiot? So, yeah, I was pretty pissed about that the whole day at work. I'm like, well, great, you know? This fucking idiot on the road tried to fucking kill me, you know? <sighs> And if he had hit me, he better have killed me. Because if he hadn't killed me, oh, trust me, there would have been hell to pay for him. There would have been fucking hell to pay, because I would have beat his ass. You don't fucking bust up my car. Especially on, on doing something that fucking stupid. Like, really? Like, I was obviously going to go. The light had just started to change to yellow, and you were trying to turn left literally into my driver's side. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You asshole. Because if he had hit me, that would have been right in the driver's side. And my car is not particularly a safe vehicle. It's not, you know, known for its high safety marks. So, yeah, probably would have been injured at least, you know. But, but I'm saying, man, if he had hit me, he better have killed me. Because if not, I would have gotten out of that car and I would have beat his ass. Or at least given him a verbal lynching. That's for sure. He would have gotten a fucking earful. Then I would have taken his ass to court, sued him, and ruined his life. Especially if I had been seriously injured. If I had been seriously injured, because he would have been at fault. I had the right of way. I was turning right, he was trying to turn left. And, you know, he would have been the one who hit me. So, just saying, if I had been seriously injured, you know, would have sued his ass for a shitload of money and ruined his life. You know, so I, I was pretty pissed about that yesterday. I was just like fucking really dude like learn the rules of the road you fucking idiots people who are turning right have the right of way if you want to turn left you gotta wait until it's clear you fucking retards i've had several people honk at me before because you know i'll, I'll take my sweet ass time if i'm turning left and i don't feel comfortable turning left or i don't think i can make it in time i don't do it because that will lead to an accident. I've had people get pissed at me for that before. I've had people literally lay on their horns because I don't turn left. Because I don't feel comfortable turning left. Because there's an oncoming car. I'm just like, yeah, I probably could have made it. But at the same time, I don't want to risk it, you know? So the people behind me can suck my fucking bumper. <laughs> car jokes. Gotta love them. Alright, anyway, sorry. I, I went off on a total tangent there. <laughs> Talking about that shit yesterday. Sorry, that just pissed me off yesterday. 
Either way, though, let's uh, let's get to the actual fucking race here. Let's get this fucking show on the road. Yeah, racing this car for the first time, racing this track for the first time, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, again, sorry I went off on the tangent there. That that shit yesterday just fucking pissed me off. So I mean, yeah, I had I drive an old car, so if it got damaged, I wouldn't really mind that much, but at the same time, it's like fucking really, you know, I'd rather not have my car damaged or, you know, have myself be potentially injured. That being said, though, if I had been severely injured, I would have yeah, damn right I would have sued his ass. So again, he would have been at fault. He would have clearly been at fault. I had witnesses too, so just saying. And I don't know if they had cameras at that particular uh, light or not, but if they did, I mean, cameras would have proved it right there. He was completely at fault. Because again, you know, if you're turning right, you have the right of way. The people who are turning left have to wait until it's fucking clear. So I'm saying people who need to learn the fucking rules of the road. Fucking idiots. And again, the light had, like, just started to change to yellow. And, like, I was clearly going to turn. You know? I don't know why he thought that I wasn't going to turn. I mean, I was clearly going to turn. I was well within my, you know, time to turn. Because, again, the light had just started to change to yellow. Like, literally just started to change. I was, like, already about to turn. So it's like, dude, fucking really? You fucking asshole idiot. Yeah, after that, I sped off as fast as I could. I actually sped off so fast, because I, again, keep in mind, I drive a 2002 Nissan Sentra GXE. It's nothing fancy. So, like, I dr after I got out of the intersection, because we were sitting there in the intersection for a minute, even after the light had, you know, turned red... And so I just sped out of the fucking intersection because I was pissed. Like, I literally thought I was going to blow my engine. <laughs> like, no shit. I actually thought I was going to blow my engine because I literally floored it. Like, I was like, I'm out of here. Like, I'm pissed. You know what? Fuck this. I want to get away from this asshole who tried to kill me. You know? So I floored it so hard that I thought my old engine, you know, because, again, I, ra I drive an old car. I thought for sure... I was going to blow my engine there because, you know, I was pushing that damn car as hard as it would go. And as you guys know, the Nissan Sentra is not a particularly powerful vehicle as far as horsepower is concerned. So I was revving that stupid little engine as hard as I could. And uh, I actually legitimately thought for a few seconds that I was going to blow my engine. But I was pissed. I was just like, fuck this. I'm putting as much distance between me and this asshole as possible. as quick as possible. Also, I really wanted to get out of that fucking intersection, because again, it was a red fucking light. Yeah, because we actually, like, met at a stop sign, like, later on down the road. I had half a mind to, like, just stop, park my car, get out of it, and, like, be like, dude, what the fuck? I, I was really close to stepping out of my car. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not normally a fan of confrontations, but, like, yeah, that pissed me off. To the point where I was actually almost about to get out of my car. But, you know what, I had to go to work and whatnot, so I didn't want to beat this guy's ass if, you know, and then have to go to work with sore hands from, you know, punching him. Because I was really close to getting out of my car and just bashing his fucking skull in. I would have done it, too. He looked like an older guy, too, so I probably could have taken him. 
Also, by the way, I also have a sword in my car. I always carry a sword in my car, so... I would have gotten out, grabbed my sword, and I would have sliced his bitch ass. That's exactly why I carry a sword in my car, you know, for in case I need to slice someone's bitch ass. And that's actually 100% true, by the way. I do legitimately carry a sword in my car for exactly that reason, either self-defense or if I need to if I need to kill a bitch. But yeah, that that shit just fucking did not that pissed me off. Really fucking pissed me off. Either way, the race went pretty well, though. I feel like. I feel like I did pretty good this time. Yeah, some really nice scenery in this track, too. Some really nice stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, good stuff. All right, well, guys, that'll do for that one. Peace out.